What's going on Rock Band 4 fans? It's time for another Rock Band history lesson and today we're talking about leaked set lists. Now if you guys have been a long time Rock Band fan like I have been since the beginning, you'll know that every announcement of every Rock Band game has been greeted with leaked set lists throughout you know, the last eight years. So when Rock Band 2 got announced, we had the set list get leaked. The same thing happened with Guitar Hero as well, but we're talking about Rock Band today. And when Rock Band 2 got announced, somewhere in between the development cycle, two different sources came out and claimed to have play tested the game and they leaked the set list. And it turned out both of their lists matched pretty much song for song. There were some discrepancies because one of the guys had apparently played DLC that was slated around the time Rock Band 2 was coming out. But I remember when I first saw the Rock Band 2 leaked set list, I thought it was not real because the Guns N' Roses song on it was Shackler's Revenge. And nobody at that time had ever heard of the song or even knew what it was. Um, some people assumed it was Chinese Democracy, it was from Chinese Democracy, and then surely enough it was. Axl Rose was going to debut the song in Rock Band 2. And of course the set list leak was 100% true. And then we had the Beatles Rock Band. That set list got leaked, followed by Green Day Rock Band, which also got leaked. A lot of the times, you know, game information and set lists, they get leaked by, like, you know, retailer sites. And it's normally the retailer sites in Europe, which is, I think, exactly what happened with Green Day Rock Band. They had listed the features, and they listed that you could play Dookie in its entirety, American Idiot, and 21st Century Breakdown. And, of course, harmonics had to come out and say, yes, it's 100% true. And then with Rock Band 3, this one was probably the most unique set list leak of all time because during an interview, harmonics was doing at E3, um, in the background, one of the harmonics employees was scrolling through the set list, and he scrolled through the entire set list of Rock Band 3, and the Rock Band community was able to like go through the video and pick out exactly which songs are going to be on disc. And then Harmonix had to come out and say, they did like a joking video saying that uh, the setlist leak is not confirmed, although they pretty much confirmed that 83 songs that we saw in the video will be on disc for Rock Band 3. And then Rock Band 4 was announced, and you know, not many people really cared about Rock Band 4 being announced. Like at this stage, Rock Band 4 is as relevant as Guns N' Roses back in 1993. You know, nobody really cared to leak the set list. And we actually did get a leaked set list for Rock Band 4, but it was completely 100% bogus. Some of the songs seem legit, but it was not 100% real. It was leaked on 4chan. That was it. And I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of the leaked set list for Rock Band over the, over the series' eight-year history or so. Let me know from you guys, do you guys remember any of the leaked set list when you guys were playing the old Rock Band games? Comment down below, and as always guys, make sure you subscribe for all things related to Rhythm Gaming. Take care.